Hello YouTubers, Flyer556 back again. I'm going to make one more video this afternoon on this Marlin Model 1894, the gun on the top. I purchased this yesterday. I know I made a video this morning showing you my Springfield Armory Range Officer chambered in 9mm that I also picked up yesterday, but it took rather long for the NYX check to come back on that. So while I was waiting for the NYX check to come back and approve me to pick that up I started browsing around the store and I ran into this model 1894 Marlin up top and I checked it out and um, I ended up also picking this up yesterday anyhow I have this other one this older model of the exact same gun the original model of the Marlin 1894 on the bottom so I figured while I got the two I'd um, do a little comparison on the two guns. The one on the bottom I borrowed from a friend of mine because as you all know I got quite a few guns and um, long guns, shotguns, rifles, handguns, all different types of guns but I do not own any lever guns. So last year I asked a friend of mine to loan me this Marlin Model 1894 on the bottom, the original one, and uh, he's not really interested in shooting or anything anymore and I don't, I don't know the whole story on that. Anyhow, he, he basically lost interest. So I asked him if I could try this thing out, and it was in kind of rough shape, so I put some time into it. I got it back in working order and presentable condition, and I just never happened to make it out to the range in the last year with it to try it out. Um, I thought it would be cool for me because, as you all know, I got a 44 model 629 handgun and um, I thought it would be cool to have a carbine to go along with it means I reload for 44 I, c I could handle shooting this affordably and I thought it might work out for me and it would be cool to have a lever gun because I don't have any so that was my intention turns out I never ended up going to the range with it I did get it in working order and everything but um there's a reason why I want to do this comparison because I'm going to show you the old and the new and what I had and what I have now and basically the rundown on the, the two of these guns and what's happened with Marlin over the years. Um, so to break it down, the gun on the bottom I borrowed from a friend of mine. He purchased it brand new in 1980 and uh, it's got very low mileage on it. It's just old and it wasn't very well taken care of but it is what it is. It's 35 years old and it does still work and it is somewhat presentable still. The gun on the top is the gun that I just purchased yesterday. It's a brand new model of the same gun, the Marlin Model 1894 44 mag lever gun. Now the difference between these two guns is originally Marlin was made in North Haven, Connecticut. The one on the bottom was made in North Haven, North Haven, Connecticut. The one on the top was made in um, I Lion, New York. After after the Marlin Company was acquired by Remington, which they were acquired sometime around 2007, Remington decided to move the company from North Haven, Connecticut to I Lion, New York. Now that kind of screwed a lot of the people that worked, the original people who worked for Marlin in Connecticut because it was too far for them to travel to New York so the majority of them didn't end up moving over to New York and going with the company. Long story short what happened is a lot of these people that didn't go with the company which almost all of them didn't go with the company and they feel they got screwed what happened is they damaged a lot of the tooling before they were let go and when Remington took the tooling from Connecticut and brought it up to New York and didn't bring the skilled workers that were very knowledgeable of making good quality lever guns with them they kinda got screwed in two ways because one they they bought this company and when they brought all the machinery up to New York to do their manufacturing on these guns it was most of it was damaged and they didn't know it and they produced a lot of really bad rifles between 2007 and 2009 they were just horrible and it went on for two years or two or three years because they didn't have anybody really skilled left from the original Marlin company that really knew the lever gun process 
to catch this and um, resolve it. And, and it, it kind of went on for quite a while. They made a lot of really horrible guns during 2007, 2008, and 2009. And um, anyhow, these two guns right here that you see in front of you, the bottom one, which was made sometime around 1980, and the top one, which was made sometime around 2014, 2015, like now, are both excellent guns. Um, the one on the bottom is more, more of a collector's gun because this is the, more the original, what people are looking for. As you can see, the one on the bottom doesn't have a safety. The one on the top does. It's a cross bolt safety. It's located right below the hammer. It goes from left to right on the upper gun. The bottom one doesn't have that and that's what a lot of people want to see. They want to see no cross bolt safety because that tells them it's an original. Marlin made in um, Connecticut not in New York and that's what people are looking for however the one up top I think is a much much nicer gun it's real walnut wood and it's got a lot of nice checkering on it and the bluing is it's pretty decent bluing on it and overall I just think the top one is is a much nicer gun it's got a nice rubber recoil pad on the back um, everything about the one on the top I think supersedes the one on the bottom except the collector value aspect of it. Um, so I I just bought it yesterday. I, I I asked the guy, can you add this thing to the 4473? Do, you, do I got to do another NYX check? Can it be included on the one I'm waiting to have approved? He was like, absolutely I can. You don't have to pay for another one. When it comes back, you can take both guns today. I said, good. You know what? Add it on. I'll take it. It was rather expensive. I think it was... Um, really rather expensive considering what it is. It was $650 before tax. Um, I didn't have to pay a NYX check because I was already in the process of having one done but it did have 50 bucks worth of tax so out the door it was $695. Um, a lot of money for that gun but I, I think it's nice. I like it and um, basically I just wanted to do a comparison while I got the two before I give the bottom one back to the guy that I borrowed it from because apparently I mean I, I don't really need it anymore I got my own now whether I like it or not now I own a lever gun and um, basically I just wanted to do this little comparison and let everybody know that didn't know a little bit of the history about what happened with Marlin and basically that's what happened they made really good lever guns for a lot a lot of years they were acquired by Remington in 2007 or somewhere in that area and Remington decided to move from Connecticut to New York and they didn't bring the majority of the workers with them. The workers damaged the tooling and during those first few years while they were making lever guns they made some really horrible lever guns. Um, but that's what happened. Now currently the guns they're making now, I've done the research, they say they're just as good if not better than the originals and they're much more appealing to the eye. Um, value wise they may not be worth quite as much as the originals because the original is the original if you can find one in pristine condition but um, that's that's totally the, your choice you know whether you want the new style or the old style I, I, I really like the way this new one looks and that's why I paid what I paid yesterday and that's why I bought it and um, pretty much that's it I just wanted to show you guys the difference in the two guns and while I have them and that's the differences more or less and I purchased the top one and I'll do a, a chapter two or whatever when I get it out to the range maybe do a range review or a review on it after I shoot it and uh, let you know what I think about it how I like it and um, I just wanted to show you the two guns and that's it remember please like subscribe share help grow my channel and until next time that's it Flyer 556, five, I'm out.